Okay, we're here, Lighthouse Park. I was hoping to get here for a sunset shot, but it's uh, a bit after that, so I'm gonna change my plan and go for a um, kind of an after dark shot of the lighthouse, long exposure type thing. And I think this time I'm gonna use my lip applied moisturizer before I go. So can I have the lip balm? Lip balm? Wait, wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna fall for that one again. Can I borrow the chopstick? Chopstick. Yes. The, cho the chopstick. chopstick. <laughs> um, you said chopstick. That's the only chopstick I have. Uh, it's not. It's not exactly what I. It's not what I meant. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go with dry lips anyway. Okay. Let's go. All right. Making our way down the trail here. It's already starting to get dark. I'm. Uh, not that disappointed I missed sunset. It's not uh, a total blowout of beautiful colors. So I think, yeah, going for the, I'm uh, going to go for kind of like a, it's quite a few like broken clouds around. So I'm hoping I can get like a, maybe a really long exposure with an ND filter, maybe a minute or two minutes or something like that. And longer 30 seconds a minute anyway figure something out and then uh get some streaking in this in the clouds and then maybe a quicker shot of the lighthouse just so that the uh, light from the lighthouse isn't blown out i don't think this is one of those lights that rotates i think it's just one that i don't know if it blinks or if it's um just as a steady burn light but the photos i've seen there isn't very many at night they're all daytime shots so i uh that's why I kind of wanted to do a uh, sunset and or nighttime or dark shot of it because I didn't see that many of them. Anyway, we'll uh, keep making our way down here and see how it looks once we get there. Let's figure out a composition and stuff. Would have liked to have been there a bit earlier to get a composition dialed in, but it is what it is. So we've reached our first um, spot that we've um, we've stopped here. There won't be any photography. Um, but it was necessary. Um, it was an hour and ten minute drive from Vancouver, and we had uh, we had lunch just before we left. So uh, first stop, it stopped. You know what has to happen. Okay, so we did reach this first little spot here. I'll flip the camera around. So we're gonna go down here and see what uh, see what we see from here. I think I want to be on the other side of it, but I'll uh, check this out first. So we went that way, where that sign posted, and you literally just go up to the top of the rocks here, and the lighthouse is there, but it's obscured by the trees. So, and it's really slippery and really rocky. So I wouldn't recommend that. We're going to go back to this main trail and kind of take this left that keeps going here. Cause I saw some people down on a little peninsula down there and I'm sure that's where this trail keeps going to. Yeah, that was not, uh, not easy. It's pretty crappy, uh, <laughs> slippery rock to climb over. There's not really too many marked trails, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that that's the trail that goes down right there so I'll keep following that because this doesn't go anywhere so we'll keep going down that way so we made our way down here and it sounds like there's somebody playing duck duck goose out on the rocks so it's going to be interesting and I think you can see the lighthouse from out here I hope so because we made our way down into a really precarious spot if not I'm going to go have to go back that way but let's uh, go find out I guess okay so that was not the spot it's too far the lighthouse is back around the point and I can't see it from there. So I'm not overly thrilled with myself for not uh, picking out a proper route before I got here. So now we're hiking back up this waterlogged staircase to try to get back to the place where we were at before, or in that area, before it gets pitch black. And it's almost at that stage now. My girlfriend's in her 
tennis shoes, which I don't condone if you want to do this trail at this point. So, definitely at this stage of December, I would say hiking shoes are necessary because it's uh, pretty wet. I would show you, but it's uh, too dark. Anyway, we'll uh, keep making our way back this way. So after much trial and tribulation, as you can see, I'm very dimly lit. We uh, did make it. Maybe if I turn around here, it'll light me out. There we go. Um, it's uh, a bit challenging to get down here, but I did make it. Um, you can see the lighthouse behind me here. I'll uh, get the composition set up. I'm going to try to do a vertical one if I can, quite down low to the rocks, because the moon is directly above it right now. So I'm going to try stop yapping at the camera and see if I can get a shot. It's nice. It looks nice. So I did take a shot already. I got, it's kind of cool. I got the lighthouse in the foreground and, well, not in the foreground. There's some rocks in the foreground, but uh, right above the lighthouse right now, the moon is out. So I got the lighthouse uh, with the moon behind it. It's already a 25 second exposure. I have the six stop ND on, which I'll take off. I was bringing it just because I uh, thought I'd get here earlier, <laughs> but I can uh, take that off. And right now I'm shooting at f2.8 and it's a 25 second exposure, but I'll show you the back of the camera. It's going to be hard to see obviously um, yeah it's tough to see it's just kind of blown out anyway that's kind of what I'm shooting the lighthouse I'm shooting a vertical um, I might tr turn it around and get a horizontal but I think the vertical works really good at this stage because I'm trying to get quite a bit of height um, I might make my way lower down but see the thing is when you go lower down you lose the light from the lighthouse it's already I'm already a bit too low but I can't really get up too much higher from here I will try one though a little bit higher and see how it turns out I will just uh, take a couple here but if uh, this first shot turns out any good from uh, Lighthouse Park here's uh, the vertical shot with the moon I actually ended up zooming in a little bit as a plane flew through the screen so I zoomed in and captured the plane in the long exposure and uh, like the way it turned out, so here's that shot instead. Okay, so obviously it's pitch black now. Well, as close as it's going to get, I can turn myself around a little bit, but uh, the sun is pretty well gone down. I've got my little lantern here with me that we use for hiking. Um, yeah, I've tried a bunch of different exposures. Um, I put the 14 to 24 on the first few I took with the Zeiss, but the moon's moving around so quickly, I, I had to get a bit of a wider capture, and I got one, um, came down to a little tidal pond here that's it's actually probably just from the rain. But um, I was able to get the moon in the tidal pool and the reflection as well as the lighthouse and the moon above. So that looked kind of cool. And uh, if that shot turns out any good, um, here it is now.
Okay, so we got, uh, I think, what we wanted. Got a couple of uh, horizontal shots, too. I did a bit of, um, it's a little trick called light painting. I don't know if you uh, are familiar with it or not, but you just get a, in a dark situation like this, you get a flashlight while the long exposure is going off and just uh, quickly move it along the rocks. And um, it, it lights up the rocks while it's taking a long, well, anything you want to shoot while you're taking the long exposure. Just make sure you don't focus it at one spot at the same time or you'll uh, you'll get a big hot spot in the middle. You have to kind of just exactly like it uh, says, go like paintbrush strokes. And uh, yeah, if that vertical, uh, sorry, it's a horizontal. If that horizontal with the light painting turned out any good, uh, here it is. Um, and I did take one more vertical uh, with the 24 to 70 more of a cropped in shot of the, just the lighthouse and the rocks and a plane flew through in the middle and uh, left a streak uh, from the lights in the plane so if I like that one once I've edited it here that one is okay and I think that's all from Lighthouse Park we've uh, got quite a drive what time is it now? babe what time is it now? it's ah it's that time, time to go. We're having uh, Chinese food for dinner. It's New Year's Eve. And instead of celebrating out with the cool kids, we're out here uh, doing some land. 520. We're out here doing some landscape photography for your enjoyment. So yeah, we've got our flashlights out and we're uh, gonna head back up the trail. It's a little bit dodgy. I bailed once coming down in the dark. Didn't see a stump. I was looking back for Bea and I uh, didn't see the stump in front of me and ended up on my uh, knees yeah it happens I end up on my knees quite often now but yeah we'll make our way out of here and uh hopefully some of those shots turned out of it, uh pretty good if they did you saw them um we're gonna make our way out now because it's getting dark so take care everybody happy new year stay safe and uh, we'll see you on the next one bye